Good morning, everyone. Now, round table five, number five, lesson study in Southeast Asia. My name is Masami Soda, University of Tsukuba, Japan. I'm a moderator of this session. Today, we have three speakers. First speaker is Dr. Maitri in Placid from Konkei University. Good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, thanks for the organizing committee, Professor Yuriko and Professor uh, Masami Soda. Okay, uh, thank I'm you. My three from Konkan University, Thailand. Uh, I will share my experience. Uh, uh, first of all, just so wait. Uh, we I introduce three speakers at first. Okay, thank okay. you very much. Sorry. Our next second speaker is Dr. Wee Hok Che from Malaysia. Good evening from Malaysia. I'm Wee Hok Che. Uh, I was the former deputy director of Simio Rexem. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers, uh, particularly Professor Buriko and all the members of the organizing committee for inviting me to take part in this uh, panel discussion. Okay, thank you very much. And then third speaker is Professor Te Kim Hong. From Malaysia. A very good morning or good evening and good day to everyone. I'm Kim Hong from Malaysia. I was formerly a staff in Simirexum and before that I was a lecturer in the teacher educations. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, to, for, to the organizer for giving me the opportunity to share my experience in this platform. Thank you. Thank you very much. And actually, those three are leading researchers in Southeast Asia on the lesson study. And uh, their background can, can be seen on the program. So here, I shortly introduced. So the first speaker, Dr. Maitri, uh, he is the uh, vice president of Konkei University and uh, the president of Thailand Society of Mathematical Education. So please, Dr. Maitri. Thank you very much, Professor Masami Soda, and also Professor Yuriko to inviting me to share some of my experience about lesson study. Uh, my background, I, I was in Japan for 10 years during 1994 to 2001. But in fact, before that, I returned back to my country in 1999 and uh, start to, to introduce the ideas of lesson study approach into Thailand. So today, I, I will share my experience during the last uh, anyway, 20 years, more than 20 years, how I can transform the, the idea of, of, of lessons that the approach into Thai uh, context. So uh, what I would like to focus is how to transform in Thailand local context. Uh, my team is uh, Dr. Nalumon Changsi and Dr. Nisakon Bunsena. Uh, why I really focus on local context? Because uh, as we all know, lesson study is a part of, of, of Japanese uh, cultural school. So in order to transform into uh, 
our context. We, we need to understand what are our local contexts. In the school context in Thailand, uh, we have about teacher belief. Most of our teachers have a strong belief that students cannot think by themselves. So the way they teach any subjects, especially in, in, in math subject at the school, the teaching approach will look like the way they deliver knowledge to the student, not to focus on, on student problem solving. And also another context is the way they teach uh, every subject, especially in, in mathematics subjects. Uh, our teacher try to cover every topics in textbooks, mostly our national textbook. So in order to respond to our context, I planned the 30 years. At the beginning, I used the KKU, my university, Konkan University, the KKU 30 year projects uh, started in 2000 and in 2020, uh, 2030s. Yeah. The first decade, the first uh, 10 years, during 2000 to, to 2010s, I tried to invest in uh, human resource development. And the next decade, during uh, 20, 2011 to 2020, 2020, and this is to strengthen our networks. And in this decade, we start in 2021 until 2030, we expand across the country and the region. The regions mean and in CLMB country. I, I will elaborate some uh, projects and some activity and models I introduced in during uh, the first 10 years. Uh, invest in human resource development, meaning I try to do a capacity building for future teacher educator to in my idea uh, this group of people when i call them the new new generation of, of teacher educators so i started with uh, the initial teacher trainings and support them to continue to become a graduate student a master and doctoral student then later they become a teacher educator, especially a group of mathematics teacher educator. Uh, so far, I have uh, nearly 50 mathematics teacher educators across the country uh, among 17 uh, teacher education in institutes. Uh, uh, I, I show the 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 map. This this is the the group of a new generation or the uh, of mathematics teacher educator across the country. Uh, back to the where I started. <clears throat> uh, at the beginning, uh, I three our problems is that the main problem is, is teaching approach as as i mentioned so when i introduce the lesson study approach into thailand at the beginning we first introduce the open approach with the open ended problems but not but invisible lesson study during the first uh, three 
three years. I assigned the first group of student teachers into school in 2002. Uh, a number of student teachers is about 15 student teachers to introduce the to use the open ended problem to create a very rich mathematical activity in their class when they do their practicum teaching at a seven school in Konkan province nearby. Uh, after uh, the one semester, uh, during that semester, I, 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 I implement the idea of, of lesson study, the three, three step of, of lesson study, but not saying the, the, the names of lesson study at, at the beginnings. Just introduce uh, the terms open approach. Hopefully, our student teachers change the way they teach at the school and work with the the pre uh, sorry the in service school teachers among the seven uh, school uh, after uh, 2003 uh, during two, 2003 and uh, 4 and 5 we introduced how to use open and that problem in order the teachers, both student teachers and, and in-service teachers will change their teacher belief that if you let the, the student engage in mathematical activity with the open-ended problem, the student can solve the problem and things by themselves. Uh, after 2005, we started to introduce both uh, open approach and lesson study. I, I, I use the three step of lesson study with the, the focus on collaboration on the plan, do, see cycles. Uh, I, I incorporate the four step, uh, the four step of, of uh, open approach into the process, the lesson study process. Uh, the first two pioneers of project school in a Konkan nearby, uh, we create a weekly cycle of, okay, like in, in this slide, the weekly cycles the idea is weekly cycles, meaning that uh, before the teachers going into the, the classroom, the, the, their lesson study team plans the lessons together using the, the textbook. I would like to thank Professor Masami so that when he visit the Konkan University, at the beginning, and he, he suggested me that in order the lesson study team can work continuously at the, the at the weekly cycles, better to use the the uh, textbook. So uh, during that year, we started to use the Japanese textbooks and started to translate into. Thai, I mean, uh, the, the tech books project is started during uh, uh, 2006. And the, the weekly cycles, I mean, once a week, the lesson study team plan the lesson together, use the uh, translation tech book. Then they come to the classroom and they come to the classroom and follow the four step of open approach. Uh, the, the four step is started with posing the problem, the, I mean, the problem situation or the task we prepare. Then the second step, the, the teachers, usually they explain a lot in, in the classroom. They change their role to observe 
the anticipating idea of the student. Then in the third step of open approach, the teachers, the classroom teachers, uh, try to facilitate a group of, of, of students to become aware of the idea happen in, in the classroom. Then by the end of the, the session in, in the classroom, they try to connect the, the idea of the student. And by the end of the weeks, because I, I mentioned as a weekly cycle, by the end of the week, they collect every evidence and do a, a debrief or, or reflections by the end of the week. And we assign the, the school principal to take leadership in a discussion. Because in the school, we, we organize the three team of lesson study. The first team is the uh, grade one, two, three. This is from one team. And the second team is grade four, five, or six. And then uh, the junior one, two, three, another team. We have three teams. So by the end of the week, the school principals or uh, take a, their loans so that the each team can share their experience, how they understand the student idea as showing in, 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 in this slide. And our team, meaning the, the faculty of education, I mean, the, the mathematic teacher educator, for example, I myself and my graduate student also come to school and form the teams of, of those uh, two schools. Uh, after we uh, use the, the textbook, uh, during the 2006, we proposed the idea in APEC lesson study with the collaboration with Professor Masami Soda, uh, the Konkan University and, and the University of Tsukuba proposed the APEC lesson study projects. And we bring our experience to chairs in, in also in, in APEC uh, community. Uh, another uh, important in order to, to transform the idea, uh, we set up the Center for Research in Mathematics Education in 2003. And we also become a part of Center of Excellence in Mathematics. Uh, I mean, the National Center of Excellence in Mathematics so that we can get some funding support from outside to support our uh, graduate students. So by uh, 2000, by, by the end of our first phase, around 2010, uh, at, the, at the school, the four project school, our lessons at the team composed with the the basic team of, 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 of the, the schools at the, the teacher at the school and our uh, graduate students and also uh, the mathematic teacher educator. You see that uh, our uh, first group of, of student teachers now become a master and doctoral student and still work closely with the I'll say with with the school teacher. They have a lot of experience of of, of uh, the classroom practice. Uh, now, uh, after the the uh, graduate from from uh, doctoral program, uh, they had been recruited to, as I mentioned at, at the beginning to 17 uh, teacher education institute across the country. And they also now try to implement the idea 
they have been trained during the first 10 years into the school nearby the uh, institutes. Uh, you, uh, you can see in, in this map, most of, of the school is concentrated in, in the northeast part of, of Thailand and some in the north part and uh, some in the southern part. Uh, now we, uh, in, in the second uh, phase, and the these teachers, new teachers, mathematics educator, uh, share their experience because we, we try to strengthen this network. So we form the Thailand Society of Mathematics Education so that this group, about 50 of new generation of mathematics teacher educator, uh, come to share their experience from their context because they bring the idea of, of uh, lesson study incorporated op open approach into the school nearby the, the institution. So the, during the last 10 years, we learn a lot from the context because as, as, as you know, Thailand, we have a, we, we are a multicultural uh, society. Uh, in the north, we speak some uh, dialects in the northeast and on, also in the southern part. So it, it, through this context, we, we share our experience in the, in the Thailand Ma Society of Mathematics Education. Luckily, uh, during this second phase, the, the, the ten, in, during the second phase of 10 years, we also involved some students from our neighboring country, from CRMV, like from Laos, from Vietnam, and come to study in a master and doctoral program. And luckily now, now they return back to, to, to their country. But we also involve them into the annual meeting of, of our uh, Thailand Society of, of Mathematics Education. Uh, so far, we complete the uh, the textbook translation and our mathematics teacher educator learn a lot from this professor masami so that uh, support us during the last 20 year uh, create a, a how to say the glossary so that they can have a background to to read the mathematics textbook or I, I can say that beyond the mathematics textbook so that the mathematics teacher educator uh, can share their experience in, in the academics uh, um, community. So uh, in fact, I have a lot of things to, to say if I elaborate in detail, but I think I, I run out of uh, the first uh, 20 minutes. So if you have any uh, other question, uh, just uh, uh, ask me or uh, later. Thank you very much for your attention. Chunandan session after the three repanest the presentations. So we are. I already expecting many of you are. Uh, May put the question in, so we dis we may discuss later. Thank you very much, Dr. Maitri. So next speaker is Dr. Wei Hok Che, uh, deputy director, uh, former deputy director of the CMEO exam. CMEO means Southeast Asia Ministers of Education Organization, International Organization for the Region in ASEAN. And uh, Lexam is the uh, responsibility for math and science education. Please. Now your turn, Dr. Che. Thank you very much, Professor Isoda. Um, as you can see from I shall straight away go into the presentation. So as uh, the title of the presentation is Lesson Study in Simio and in Malaysia, the issues and the challenges. Uh, 
for those of you who uh, don't really know where uh, uh, Southeast Asia is, first of all, here there is a map of uh, Asia. It spreads from all the way from Middle East right until Japan. And Southeast Asia is located here. It's in between India, China, and Japan in the north. And south of China and Japan, you will find this area, which consists of these 11 countries, uh, Brunei, Salam, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, and Timor-Leste. And what is interesting is these 11 countries have uh, come together and they have formed a regional uh, collaboration, a regional organization. There are two main regional organizations in Southeast Asia. The first one is ASEAN, which consists mainly of the foreign ministers of these countries. But here today, we are more interested in the second organization, SIMIO, uh, which stands for Southeast Asia Ministers of Education Organization. I will talk a little bit more about SIMIO a little bit later. Uh, next here, I will zoom into this area. This is the country where we are from. This is Malaysia. If you see from the map, it is the white part of the map of Malaysia. In uh, you can also see that uh, Malaysia consists of 13 states and one federal territory. And each of the state, there is a state education department. The outline of my a presentation today will be uh, divided into two parts. The first part, the first three bullets, I will talk about CMU and international cooperation in Southeast Asia. Uh, CMU, RECSAM, which is the center that I was from. The RECSAM stands for Regional Center for Education in Science and Mathematics. And then the third point I will talk about is how Rexham promoted lesson study in the region. Uh, the second part of my presentation, I will talk about lesson study in Malaysia and how it developed in Malaysia. Uh, first of all, I will give a brief structure of the Ministry of Education of Malaysia. And then I will talk about the introduction of lesson study uh, there are three main points here. First of all, introduction of lesson study in small-scale research at the very beginning, and then followed by Malaysia's participation in the APAC, uh, HRD, Working Group Lesson Study Project. And then the third point is the upscaling of lesson study in Malaysia in the Professional Learning Community Project. And last of all, to sum it up, I will talk about how we can go about sustaining lesson study in Malaysia. First of all, the ministers of uh, education organization, uh, in short, we call it South Simeo. The regional collaboration was established in 1965 to promote regional cooperation in education, science, and culture. And the CIMEO Council consists or comprises of the 11 Southeast Asian ministers of education, mainly from the countries of Brunei, Darussalam, uh, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Timor-Leste, and Vietnam. And to run the, to operationalize the activities in CIMEO, there are 26 specialist CIMEO centers. And each center specializes 
in a particular field of expertise. The governing board for each centre reviews the operations, the budget, the policies, the programmes of each centre and comprises senior officers from each CMU member country. And what is perhaps important to note is that this is an international collaboration project. And this is an organization that covers Southeast Asia that works together in international cooperation. But uh, what is also important is that these 26 uh, countries do not uh, intervene in the operation of the programs in each country. Um, uh, let us take the example of CMIL REXM. REXM uh, stands in short for the Regional Centre for Education in Science and Mathematics. And we can see here, right in the centre, the box here that says, the aim here of REXM is to promote and enhance science and mathematics education in the CMU member countries. In order to run its program, it follows policies under the direction of the CMU sector, which is located in Bangkok, Thailand. Yet, at the same time, the center is supported by the Malaysian government. So it works together hand in hand with the CMU Secretariat and the government of Malaysia and carries out its main activities, which you can see in the box on the right. That is, first of all, we conduct research and development activities to inform pedagogy and policy. Uh, we design and implement high quality professional development programs and ensure strong and active networking with experts and in institutions and the community. And we serve as an effective clearing house for information through uh, publications. Uh, what is important is that these activities, its main aim is going towards the public good for the CMU member countries, not just for Malaysia, but for all the other countries in Southeast Asia. Let us now talk about how uh, CMU was involved in lesson study, in the promotion of lesson study, in uh, how RECSEM, what, what was the role of RECSEM in promoting lesson study in the CMU countries. And over here, I would like to acknowledge that uh, we are indeed very thankful to Professor uh, Masami Isoda and also Professor Maitre Imprasit, for they were the two conveners of the APEC lesson study project. And from 2007 onwards, we have been invited regularly to take part every year in the lesson study, the APEC lesson study and which we learn a lot, uh, not just theoretical, but in practice, we were able to see how lesson study was carried out in uh, Japan. Uh, to elaborate a little bit more about what REXM does uh, for the region, every year REXM conducts regular courses for senior teachers. Uh, that means teachers from all the 11 countries in the Southeast Asian region. Each course lasts for four weeks and educators from senior countries are selected to attend these courses. For every course, Rexham provides uh, travel, tuition fees, food and accommodation and allowances for one participant from each senior countries. And currently, uh, the countries uh, from CMU uh, are also invited to fund their own teachers to take part in these uh, regular courses. 
The regular courses cover specific areas in science and mathematics education, which cover current topics of interest and trends in science and mathematics education. And since 2011, we have promoted a lesson study. We have included lesson study as a topic in every regular course. By doing so, then the participants uh, would be able to learn more about lesson study. What they did in the course was they were able to carry out lesson study cycle in the local schools in Malaysia. They, they will come to Malaysia to attend these courses and the participants would then carry out the, less, the full lesson study cycle in the local schools. And by doing so, they learn more about lesson study. And the aim was, of course, for these participants, after finishing the course, the one month course, the four weeks course in Wrexham, they will go back to the, uh, their home country and the aim was for these participants in, to have a multiplier effect on returning to their own home country. Uh, since Wrexham is also a clearing house for publications, we have uh, also included good focus on lesson study. These are some of the things that we have done in 2011 we dedicated one whole issue of the journal. Uh, Rexam publishes the Journal of Science and Mathematics Education in Southeast Asia, and this is published. Uh, 10 years ago, it was uh, two issues a year. Currently, there's only one issue of the journal a year. And in 2011, there was one whole issue which we dedicated to uh, lesson study alone. There were also other uh, publications. Uh, you can see here, uh, there's a monograph on implementing a teaching and learning of innovation through lesson study. Uh, also, this came about because of our uh, participation in the APEC lesson study. Next, we move on to the structure of the Malaysian Ministry of Education. I think this is very important to give the context of how uh, later on you will see how the Malaysian uh, Ministry of Education tried to upscale lessons to the Malaysia. So it is very important to see uh, because lesson study is carried out in the schools. So you can see that the schools actually uh, form at, on this organizational chart, they are at the very bottom of this chart. And the Ministry of Education con consists of many, many divisions and units in order to run the whole ministry. And they have different sectors. They have sectors in planning and development, sector of management, sector of policy and curriculum, school operations sector and professional development sector. And, uh, but the ministry does not directly oversee the running of the schools. What happens is, the, even though the policies are made by the Ministry of Education, it's very centralized, there are state education department in every state, and under every state education department, there are district education office, and this district education office and the state education department are actually the ones that monitor the uh, the running and the management of the schools. So even though the policies are made at the Ministry of Education, it is the state education department and the district education office together with the school management that actually uh, monitors and runs the, the schools. So we can see here um, that this is indeed a very uh, interesting uh, way which the ministry runs the whole program in, in the uh, for Malaysia. And it is managed by a very cent centralized system. 
the advantage here, of course, is that uh, it facilitates policy making and provides uniformity in the running of the schools. So no schools are actually left out. No public schools are actually left out in Malaysia. But the disadvantage at the same time is that this top-down management limits empowerment in the school. All the schools have to run according to the policies and directives of the Ministry of Education. So later we shall see how this will affect how lesson study is being introduced into the schools. It has got to come through the Ministry of Education down to the schools. But at the same time, we have other uh, institutions, for example, the public universities and senior exam, even though they come under the Ministry of Education, they do not come directly under the state education department. And the public universities and senior exam, they have, in fact, autonomy to run uh, their own programs. Next. Okay. The next part I'm going to talk on is the development of lesson study in Malaysia. There are three key milestones here. First, uh, lesson study was introduced to small-scale research in Malaysia, and then uh, participation in the APEC lesson study from 2006 onwards until now. And the third uh, milestone was the upscaling of lesson study as part of the professional learning community, the PLC project in the government transformation project uh, program. Uh, the first one, early small scale lesson study research. This was mainly done by the university's researchers beginning in 2004 onwards. And it was uh, through a collaboration of international researchers and in particular from Australia, they came together and they did a research on lesson study and they went to the schools, they asked permission from the ministry and they were able to set up small researchers in the schools. And the result showed that there was a lot of potential for lesson study as a teacher professional development approach. And, but at the same time, there were also constraints that were identified, administrative support, uh, teacher commitment, and time constraints, as well as perceptions about learning. The next key milestone was the participation in the APEC uh, HRD, uh, Human Resource Development Working Group Lesson Study Project, of which uh, Masami is so that Professor Masami and Professor Maitri, they were the two overseers of this project. Uh, University Science Malaysia and Simo Rexham, we took part in this uh, project and we learned a lot and we participated in the project. And more details about this project is available at this website. You can go and see it this website, uh, how through the years uh, we have learned and developed lesson study. Uh, what was important is that the key researchers here, they, they were able to gain a lot of expertise by their participation in the APEC HRD uh, lesson study project. And then the next key milestone was the follow-up pilot study, uh, sorry, uh, the, through the APEC lesson study project, we had some pilot studies carried out, uh, mainly through USM and Rexham. And there were six schools that took part, two phases, and we found out that the, the results of the pilot study was that lesson study was indeed a very good potential approach that we can use to improve uh, teaching and learning in the class classroom. And the teachers themselves found uh, 
this lesson 30 to be a very good approach to improve their own knowledge. But at the same time, they all, we also face a lot of challenges. Uh, the teachers also face a lot of challenges in carrying out lesson study. Um, feedback from the school administrators who took part is that these were to be the two main uh, set of disadvantages or constraints in carrying out lesson study. First, the school curriculum was overloaded and packed and thus uh, finding extra space within the present curriculum to accommodate lesson study is a challenging task. The other main constraint was that uh, was monitoring and implementing and providing guidance for the teachers and changing the teachers mindset. We need knowledgeable others to do this to be with the teachers for a long period of time in order to help change their mindset. Then came the next milestone, which is uh, quite an important one, upscaling lesson study in the professional learning community project. In 2010, the government embarked on the government transformation program because the government realized that the quality education is the primary driving force to lift the quality of the nation's human capital. And so PLC was adopted as one of the uh, projects. Uh, sorry, here. Yeah, the lesson study was ad adopted as one of the projects of PLC in the government transformation program. And so this is how uh, less, lesson study came to be upscaled. Before this, there were only small scale projects uh, that were carried out on lesson study. The PLC project was ambitious. And within the next five years, a total of 1,689 schools took part. Uh, the schools were selected from the lower performing schools in Malaysia. One or two teachers from each schools attended of five day workshops. The workshops consisted of two parts. The first is to introduction of PLC, including lesson study. And then the second was the hands on lesson planning, implementation and the observations of lessons. And the third one was lesson reflection and discussion. And it was the hope that going through these workshops, the plan was for these uh, participants then to carry out lesson study when they go back to their own schools. Um, we did a survey in 2011 on where the participants uh, took part in this survey. And these are the results of the survey. The, there were a few quick items here. And we can see here, the first few items registered higher means. The, the teachers found that lesson study was a good way to increase pedagogical, pedagogical content knowledge and knowledge about the subject. But at the same time, the teachers also scored lower in some of the items here, especially involvement in implementation of lesson study cycles. Involvement in implementation of lesson study cycles was an enjoyable ex experience. Uh, and then they felt not so comfortable, in fact, of being observed and critiqued at the end of the lesson. So these were some of the uh, items uh, which they scored during the survey. So what we have learned from these feedbacks is that teachers indicate they have learned from uh, early lesson study research, the pilot study, 
in the PLC project. Teachers, the teachers, although they indicate that they have learned quite a lot to improve their knowledge in lesson study, but at the same time, they were less confident about implementing lesson study. School administrators identify these two impediments in implementing lesson study. Loaded curriculum, therefore finding extra space uh, to do lesson study was difficult and a challenging task. And of course, the main constraint was how are we going to monitor the implementation and to provide guidance to the teachers uh, to change their mindset. The constraints actually became more conspicuous during the upscaling of lesson study in the PLC project. So what are the suggestions we have here to go forward to revitalize lesson study? These are five suggestions here. First, uh, alignment of the long-term goals of lesson study to the needs of the professional community. For example, lesson study for mathematics education should relate the needs of meeting the goals of the mathematics curriculum. Uh, sometimes in trying to implement lesson study, we find that uh, more emphasis has been placed on the, pro the procedures of lesson study rather than meeting the goals of the mathematics curriculum. Uh, the culture of the mathematics classroom is often set apart from the lesson study uh, procedures. What we are suggesting is that Instead, lesson study should, in fact, address the needs of the professional community of mathematics teachers. The second is building and developing lesson study groups over a period of time. The emphasis here is over a period of time because lesson study cannot be built or developed within a short period. We need a long period in order for the teachers to get accustomed and enculturalize within the lesson study groups. Uh, third point is emphasizing and expanding the pool of knowledgeable others. In fact, for teachers to be able to learn, it is very important that there is close rapport between them and the knowledgeable others who will then provide them with the confidence and the extra knowledge and they will act like mentors to the lesson study groups. It is important then that we build and expand this pool of knowledgeable others. The fourth point is empowering teachers to participate in the decision-making process related to the lesson study groups. Very often, when teachers begin, they dare not uh, come forward with their own suggestions of how to carry out the lessons. So it is important that we encourage teachers and we empower them to participate actively in the decision-making process. And of course, the last one is championing lesson study at various levels of the professional community. We need champions at every level to carry out lesson study in the community of teachers. Thank you very much, Aparikato. Thank you very much, Dr. Che. <laughs> Little bit of long lectures. And the next speaker, last speaker is 
Professor Ted Kim Hong. She was a professor of the teacher education university. And after that, she became the trainer at the lesson, and she had long experience of the teacher training on lesson study. And now she prepared the three books for challenges. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Isoda. Oh, okay, I have my slides. Oh, sorry, where are my slides? Okay. You can share. George is saying that uh, your file disappeared from the platform. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, to share it again from your side. Okay, okay share it sorry. Yeah. All right. Something happened. I'm yeah. sorry. Sorry for that. Thank you, Eco Support, for supporting. Okay. Is it okay now? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, in this session, uh, I would like to share my personal experience in doing lesson study with some uh, mathematics teacher. And um, comparing to the talk earlier by uh, Dr. Chia, my uh, sessions will be looking at lesson study at a very micro level. So my talking point will be briefly talking about the initial learning and challenges of lesson study and lesson study support that we got and how to raise awareness of teaching mathematics through problem solving via lesson study and also some teacher learning. Now, as you say, if you uh, heard earlier that lesson study was introduced uh, by individual researcher in the, in the universities and uh, from the year 2004, and many small scale research were done by all these researchers. And then later, uh, the practice was enhanced through Apex Lesson Study Project. So the whole progress was rather slow for other people who were not involved in lesson study, like uh, when I was in the Teacher Education Institute, uh, lesson study is completely new. However, it was until 2011 that the Ministry of Education uh, introduced lesson study as a national program of PLC. And this created awareness and the need for teacher professional development among the teachers community. So in the subsequent year, of course, educators, teachers who may not get a chance to learn about lesson study directly, will go and attend workshops, attend uh, research lessons, and also read a research report about lesson study, and also attend open class as observers, and, and also uh, attending or helping other groups to become uh, what they call a mentor. And this is an example of a learning support where there is demonstration class in lesson study and teaching through problem solving. And also, we also get external learning support, such as how to develop mathematical thinking through problem solving for in-service teachers from Southeast Asian country. And coincidentally, the uh, what they call the person who is giving the lecture is Professor Isoda. And besides that, while we were working, we also tried out lesson study with the student teachers. And at that point, uh, we invite experienced uh, 
knowledgeable others to come and participate in our project. And at the same time, we learn from them. And we also invite school teachers to become observers in during the research lessons. So all these are the learning process. And um, prior to this, I have been doing training uh, to the in-service teacher from Simio countries, particularly on how to conduct lesson studies and also how to uh, manage lesson using teaching to problem solving. So uh, towards, uh, after many years, I decided to try another lesson study project with some schools uh, on learning to practice teaching maths through problem solving via lesson study. And the focus of the study was to support three lesson study team from three schools in carrying out a collaborative lesson research using teaching through problem solving approach. And the main purpose is to help the teachers on how to develop a research lesson, emphasizing on Kyozai Kinkyo, that is the study of teaching materials, and also to record evidence and responses to teaching and learning a specific topic that is two decimal places using teaching through problem solving, which I put the abbreviation as TTP. And this is the uh, current model that is widely used, the collaborative lesson research model. And this is always go hand in hand with teaching through problem solving. And I was very fortunate to attend the International Maths Teacher Professionalization using lesson study and where I pick up this model. And subsequently, I usually use that in my training. And in this model, it's no difference from others. Uh, you have the, uh, what they call, the, the issues of the, the main concern of the topics and then planning the lessons. But there are two things interesting found in this phase. There is Kyozai King Q and also to prepare a research proposal for the lesson study. And then comes a live lesson. And then we have a post lesson, uh, what do you call the post lesson uh, discussions. And after that, summing up and uh, do the documentations. And this model is particularly efficient to deepen the learning of maths content via teaching through problem solving. Um, now, in Kyozai Kinkyu, I'd like to highlight these two areas. In Kyozai Kinkyu, it refer or involve the careful study of topics, the content knowledge and teaching materials from prior to the later grade related to the intended learning path. And then we also research into the misconceptions and common issues of the topic. And in that process, we look into the possible tools, the manipulative, the material use and possible tasks to be presented to students. And it is very much like a literature review. So based on this study, we put it out in a written research proposal to communicate what the team learned from the Kyozai KenQ and explain the instructional thinking. So in this proposal, we have a research team, a clear statement of how the research lesson aims to address the learning goal of a unit, the overview of a unit, the rationale for the design, and the most important part is a detailed teaching learning plan or we call it the research lesson. So uh, actually, before we start off with lesson study with this group of teachers, in fact, I have three groups, 17 maths teachers from three schools, school ABC, and we provide them with six hours of online workshop. And you may wonder why it is online instead of the face-to-face uh, we happen to hit during the uh, what they call the COVID time. So there are times we it is 
open where everybody can meet up and then there was respect, restricted movement and then the school was partially closed and so on. So there was many problems. So at the end, we decided that we have to go online and the input of the workshop uh, include what is lesson study, what is the collaborative lesson research and the implementation and what how to teach maths through problem solving and how to prepare stages of TTP lesson preparations. And due to such time, such time constraint, we also give references to support the learning. Uh, so the teachers will be given a record video of how to carry out lesson study, how to plan the TTP maths lesson. And the communication is basically through WhatsApp, and Google Classroom where we can upload our materials through emails and through Zoom platform. And our main reading materials is, uh, is on a collaborative lesson research and also uh, materials related to teaching maths through problem solving. So in the preparation of the research proposal, we really face a lot of constraint, no visitor to school. So there's lack of interactions in drafting the research proposal. And communication had to go through WhatsApp and emails. So as a result of that, we don't receive any draft of the research lesson even after two months. And subsequently, we have two schools who, came, who come in to say, oh, we can't cope with the process of lesson study. We, we requested to be left out of this project because they are too busy with online teaching, lack of collaboration and commitment among team members because during that difficult time, there was a staggered attendance of teachers coming to school. And the most important part is to know that it is not compulsory to participate in learning to in learn uh, in lesson study. So because of that, we have to give a lot of leeway to the teachers. And after four months lapse, we received one draft. That draft was not uh, aligned to what we wanted. That is a lesson based on teaching through problem solving. So with no choice, we have to visit the school twice, even with a limited uh, movement. And we have the teachers, that is left only one group, to finalize the research proposal and the lesson plan. And because we cannot invite any external knowledgeable others, we cannot invite any teachers from neighboring school, our project team member, one of the project team members was the knowledgeable others. And the lesson objective, instead of the a very conventional way of learning to decimal place. We have this as to represent two place decimal numbers in different ways using 100 grids, scale meter ruler, base stamp blocks, Malaysian currency, weighing scales, and others. And we ask them to compare the values of two place decimal numbers and explain the method used with an appropriate. Uh, representations. So uh, this is an example of how the teacher prepare. Uh, you find that it is very conventional, how to change 210 to 20 hundred and then write that in decimal place or count the colored squares and then what is the fraction and then change to uh, two decimal places. So for that, we modify into problem base. That is not the two decimal numbers, 0 0.3 and 0 0.27. Which decimal number is larger? And we provide them some diagrams. And the task is draw a diagram to explain how you get the answer based on the choice of the diagram. So this is an example. So after we are happy with the proposal, then came the big day of the research, the implementations of the research lesson. 
and we could not meet them. Only the teachers and the students are in school. The head teacher and some maths teachers can come into their class, but uh, we have to be in our office in Simarexum and we observe the lessons through a Zoom platform. And this is some documentations on the task on 0 0.3 and 0 0.27, how to overcome it. And you can see that this is where a student was showing the comparison using the shillings of Malaysian currency, another one using the grid, and the students were able to put up on the board to explain to their friends. And at the end of the lesson, we followed the protocol of the lesson study. We have a post-lesson discussions and reflection that is also done online. And after one hour of the teaching, we allow the teachers to interview the students for half an hour and a half an hour to get themselves ready. And then we have the sessions together. And the comments from the team members and observers, uh, they talk about the children. Does the children need guidance and probing through questioning in choosing the learning materials? And a few children were able to explain the comparison, but many stays quiet. And the bun show that we introduced help children see the flow of the lesson and understand better. And many children were able to uh, determine uh, the what do you call the numbers of comparison of between 30 and 27, but they need a lot of help to relate it to 0 0.27 and 0 0.30 ringgit. But uh, besides that, the children are able to do some assessment themselves. Uh, this is the voices from the children. They say they understand the lesson when using meter rule, money, and uh, shading the 100 grades to find the answer. It was enjoyable. And one student said, I did not talk much because I'm shy, but I understand the lesson because the teacher asked a lot of questions. And we asked them about two stars and a wish. The star that's given were, they get to write and explain to friends. And many teaching materials are interesting. And what is the wish? They wish that teacher always teaches like today's lesson. I think it is a big feedback to the teachers. And then other discussion, we talk about CLR and the research lesson proposal. Uh, the team member says it provide a very clear path on how to do lesson study. They understand more content and practices that they took for granted. And they appreciate the importance of the curriculum and standards of different grades. As we is commonly known that if a teacher teach grade two, it's always they know about the grade two curriculum. They seldom bother about grade one or even grade three. And the teachers also say they acquire a better sense of topic sequence. And what about teaching through problem solving? I am more aware to solve a problem in different ways. I hardly practice this approach in my class. I stop whenever there's a correct answer. I am so challenged because I have to exhaust all solutions to problem before discuss with students. And I need more time to prepare a lesson. Another one is I improve my content knowledge as student learning is demanding. Other comments include the apologize saying that they took a lot of time to prepare because CRR model and TTP are new practice for them. And they would like to extend the practice of teaching through problem solving. And they find teaching through problem pro uh, solving process is engaging. It encourages children communications, critique, and also enhance understanding. And regarding Kyozai KenQ, they say it opens up a wide scope of knowledge to prepare a comprehensive research lesson. 
and lesson study is not yet a culture and they say they share that it is a challenging to expand it so what's the insights from the members they say many concepts should be taught through understanding but not merely through road learning which they usually do realize that many connections between decimals and situations in daily life and planning a lesson together by reviewing and study the related teaching materials as in Kyozai Kingo deepens my knowledge and skills in teaching and the summary of the post lesson discussion provides the gist of a best practices and weakness of improvement and they realize that support from administrator makes CPD easier to achieve and lesson study process strengthen the spirit of collaboration and support from team members and the person who taught the lesson said I have not had a chance to learn much about my own teaching before and I get that through lesson study and my conclusion, uh, before this, we actually have made a compilation of why is it difficult to sustain lesson study practice? It is a lack of awareness of the importance of CPD, lack of guidance of how to carry out the lesson studies, a lack of zest due to time constraint, misconceptions about lesson study, the commitment of teachers, and also the administrative support. So this is what we have found. And uh, based on that, what will change after the lesson study experience? Basically, we find that what the teacher have mentioned earlier in their learning, is very much similar to many teachers who gone through lesson study. And what is important is they walk through the process and they appreciate the importance of lesson studies in improving their practices and also in helping the students learn. And through that experience, they are able to internalize the value of lesson study. And at the end of the project, they even propose that it will be good to split the original lesson group to form new groups to lead other teachers to engage in new lesson study and to introduce TTP or teaching to problem solving to more math teacher through CPD. And practice teaching to problem solving in daily practice or daily teaching to improve students' thinking and also emphasize on conceptual understanding then procedural exercise. And in my last word, I really have nothing more to ask from this group of teachers. Despite of all the difficulties or the stress of uh, planning it, as a face-to-face -face kind of interactions, we ended up going through online and partially face-to-face. -face. And I would like to say thank you to this group of people. And the most important person is a head teacher of the school who is always behind the group of teachers uh, to, to give them the moral support and also the my team members to participate in the lesson study project and towards the end we also have two extra teachers to came in to provide us the technical support so that we can reach out to the teachers in school and we in the in our office to watch what is transpired during the teaching sessions and that's all from me thank you very much for your attention <coughs> Thank you very much, uh, Professor. Take him home. Yeah, it is very, really interesting uh, uh, examples. And uh, Dr. Yuriko, uh, 
the question might be given by the Portuguese. Yes, I was <laughs> in Portuguese for the audience to see what I'm asking. And I have one question for each uh, speakers. I thank you all very much. It was so nice, so wonderful talks. So I learned a lot. So I start with, because of the time, well, a question that I have to Dr. Maitri about the which results of assessment of achievement you are, it's appearing. Which type of assessment you get? And then the next is, has the use of textbooks changed the teacher perception of own role with the lesson study in your project? It's impressive, the 30 year project. I, I would like to comment other time, but this time I'd like to hear about your position. Okay, can I share the PowerPoint again? You go. In order to uh, I cannot. Uh, uh, George, você pode colocar o slide do Dr. Maitri, por, por favor? Yes, before waiting. Okay. E, e, as you can see in these slides, in the classroom environment mm -hmm. and classroom activities completely changed as our teachers can witness by their eyes. Usually our students just sit quietly, listen to the teacher to deliver knowledge. But as you can see in many, many classrooms, yeah. Yes, uh, but about the assessment, the official assessment about the achievement. Yes, yes. yes. and also, we have, uh, I didn't prepare for this, but every school, we, since we start two school in 2006, and so far we have nearly 300 school across the country. After two group, one group, it takes three years, and two group, it need uh, uh, around six years. Most of the national uh, score, the national test score, is climbing, climbing, okay, okay, greater than the the average of, of the nationals. Yes, and of to course. Respond to the second questions. Yes, certainly, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, our teachers have a perception or a strong belief to deliver knowledge. Mm -hmm. According to our survey, we have we we have done many many survey during the last. Uh, 20 years, our teachers have changed their perception and their roles in the classroom. They perceive that they have to prepare to anticipate the student idea every time before they go into the class. And then during the four step of open approach in the classroom, the most important thing is not to intervene uh, in the student where they solve the problem and they change their role from talking a lot to take notes or do observations. They, they improve their observation skill in taking notes, the student idea, and then facilitates in the third step of open approach in the classroom so that the, uh, the student can become aware of their own idea and then turning into how to learn for the 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 future's classroom i think this is from uh, my observation and from the survey we had a lot of data showing that the perception and the roles in the classroom is completely changed and recently uh, we work with a simo school network with professor, professor masami so that we our teachers can change their role to design the problem situation uh, based on the idea of flow of lessons or task sequence, meaning that if you can notice this kind of idea, so what next? How how do you plan the the task, the next task, in order to extend the student idea? I think that this is very important change yes. in the classroom. So they are using these translated textbooks. 
the innovations is getting yes, yes. Uh, yes. achieved through textbooks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Maitri. Pessoal, eu fiz a pergunta, como vocês sabem, eu já coloquei a pergunta, se as avaliações estão resultados, estão aparecendo, e se o uso dos livros trans, traduzidos mudou a percepção dos professores sobre o seu papel no, no Lesson Study. E o professor Maitre respondeu que os resultados estão começando a aparecer, porque é um projeto de longo termo, não é? Estão aparecendo. E realmente o uso de livros de, uh, livros didáticos para preparar, para perceber qual é a próxima tarefa e aprender a planejar as lições é uma das grandes vantagens que eles estão conseguindo. A inovação no ensino através dos livros didáticos, como ele mostrou. Muito obrigado, Dr. Maitri. For uh, Dr. Wehock, I asked about the what is the current state of Rexon regular courses. How many courses are being given regularly? And how many teachers and countries are regularly participating? And what is the relation with PLC in Malaysia that I learned a lot uh, through the exposition of uh, Professor T? It's about this, uh, the top-down view that Rexon organized the regular courses. It's a beautiful to involve 11 countries, but uh, uh, in the one teacher from each country and the regular courses. So by now, after so many years of this project, how many courses are being given uh, regularly? How many teachers? The impact of the spreading of these regular courses of Rexon, I'd like to hear. The... Um... In, in 2011, 2012, 2013, at that time, we organized every year, there were seven courses. And in each course, we, uh, the selection of teachers were actually done by the Ministry of Education from their own country. They will nominate one teacher to attend uh, one course. So every year we have about uh, 77 teachers attending the courses from the various countries. But uh, what I know recently is they have cut down the courses. I think part of the reason could be the uh, pandemic is one. The other thing is I think uh, things are getting uh, more expensive, the funds to run the course that comes from the government actually hasn't changed through the years. So with the same amount of money, I think the number of courses that uh, Rexham can organize has become less and less. Uh, okay. So this is one of the problems. But every, um, every few years, at the time I was at Rexham, we would try to do a multiplier effect uh, survey. So we, we try to find the impact of the uh, the impact of the regular courses. So we sent out surveys to the past participants, and it, it seems at that time uh, they were very much encouraged. Uh, the teachers that come to Rexham actually became more motivated to be um, to be multipliers for new innovations in their country. But of course, uh, what happens after that? You see, uh, the the senior centres do not have direct contact with the teachers. Right? We are not able to tell them what to do because those instructions will have to come from their own ministries of education. Uh, in Rexham, we can only advocate that these are the current trends. These are the intended objectives of mathematics education. But what happens in their school 
is actually under the control and the uh, monitoring of their own uh, ministries of education. Uh, did I answer the question? Yes, thank you very much. I, I will translate it a, a little bit about your uh, answer to, to the audience. Então, o professor Ui Rock, respondendo a minha pergunta, ele disse que entre 2011 e 2013, cada um dos, dos países mandavam uh, delegados das suas ministros de educação. Então, tinha mais ou menos 77 uh, professores vindo, representando seus países nos cursos do Rexham. E havia, assim, sete cursos regulares, mais ou menos. Mas depois, por questões de finanças, era difícil para, uh, muito difícil para o, prof, para o pessoal uh, financiar. E depois veio a pandemia. Então, atualmente, a pandemia do corona, então, fica difícil, uh, o custo para a reação ficou bastante grande, e o meu também. Mas, agora, a, a política deles é que aqueles, eles mandaram uma investigação, uma pesquisa sobre os, o pessoal que fez o curso com eles no passado para aumentar o impacto, para que cada um deles replique nos seus países ah, os modelos da Lesson Study. E, e, então, essa é a maneira, que como o Rexham é um, um centro de, de administração e investigação, eles não têm o, o domínio sobre as delegacias de ensino e os ministérios de educação próprios em cada país, por cada autonomia. Então, mas eles estão acompanhando, monitorando a, a, os cursos e os seus impactos. E os professores que continuam vindo, os outros professores, eles estão aproveitando os cursos que ainda oferecem. Mas como Lesson Study é uma coisa de longo termo, então esses resultados ainda estão acontecendo. E eu gostaria de agradecer. I'd like to thank you, Professor T, very much, because my question was answered during your presentation. A very uh, exemplary case study about the success, how the, the Lesson Study can uh, uh, impact the learning of the teachers during the PLC. So I, I think that the, there are some uh, questions coming from the YouTube, so I'd like to, to say something. Uh, então, gente, a, a pergunta que eu fiz para a professora T foi respondida pela exposição dela, certo? Ela mostrou todo o ciclo, todo o processo de percepção, de reflexão dos professores, das vozes das crianças, então, e eu vou passar para a pergunta que veio do YouTube. Aqui fala, né, como a incorporação da OA ao processo de lesson study transformou a cultura da sala de aula tailandesa. Uh, there is a question, Dr. Maitri, about the how the incorporation of uh, open-ended approach, open approach to the, with the process of lesson study has transformed the culture of uh, classroom tradition in Thailand. Uh, mathematical thinking. Yes, uh, let, let me share again, Dr. Yuriko, let, let me share. The, yes, the, uh, thanks for the, the very important uh, question. Uh, I introduced the basic steps of lessons a day, uh, collaborative plan and do and see. Uh, and I put the idea of weekly, meaning that once a week, the lesson study team plan the lesson together outside the classroom. And in the second step of lesson study, I incorporate the four step of open approach in the classroom, meaning that the open approach has been treated as the teaching approach in the classroom. That, that, the point, that point that I incorporate the four step of teaching approach, I mean, meaning open approach in the lesson study. And then by the end of the weeks, after, for example, we, we teach three 
period for three or four or five periods in that week we collect the data uh, each team of lesson study collect the data from from each team and then meet with the school principals by the end of the week so in the sense the we, we try to create a weekly cycles of learning learning who, who learning it teacher learning and student learning in 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 the classroom and then we we share the idea of what do you notice the student idea uh, after you anticipate in your lesson plan so at the beginning we we only focus to train our teacher how to observe the student idea in in the classroom because they change their 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 role so they have something discussed thank you and uh, dr yeriko i uh, let me share the for the last question about the evidence of of the student response and the teachers respond uh uh just a moment okay uh, can, can you can you let me share the powerpoint the evidence of the student respond and teacher respond to show that the teacher's perception and their role has been changed Georgia, pode mostrar o, o arquivo do professor Maitri? just only one minute <laughs> okay this okay you you see we we did a survey how the less the student respond to the the classroom uh 1200 students have been uh, respond to the our survey and next is about the teachers perception has been changed okay look, dr you go this is the way the evidence that the teachers okay, respond okay. Uh, okay, thank you. I'd like to share with the audience the, uh, the, your previous answer. This is very important. Então, pessoal, eu perguntei sobre a... a um, bom, houve a pergunta da incorporação do Open Approach no processo de lesson study transformou a cultura. Ele falou que transformou totalmente, não assim, do, do professor de, durante a sala de aula, mas a cultura escolar, porque eles faziam os ciclos assim, ciclos semanais, depois mensais e depois de um planejamento anual. E principalmente no ciclo semanal, eles preparavam o conjunto e eles treinaram primeiro o professor o que observar, como observar, para poder coletar evidências do desenvolvimento do pensamento matemático depois, no final. Depois da aula, eles faziam reuniões com o diretor, com o coordenador pedagógico para estudar a resposta de suas observações para trazer evidência do pensamento matemático dos alunos através do Open Approach, do Open Ended. Então, foi dessa maneira que eles conseguiram mudar, inclusive, a cultura da sala de aula tailandesa, em que dava aula somente para entregar o conhecimento e não tinha reflexões posteriores. Então, essa cultura de fazer semanalmente um trabalho de reflexão e análise das suas observações mudou completamente e está fazendo parte dos anos, daquele de 30 anos de projeto, eles estão na terceira fase. Então, eles foram devagar e eu achei que está respondendo essa última pergunta, essa parte, né? como essa abordagem inovadora a longo prazo apoia o desenvolvimento de comunidade. Eles estão fazendo um trabalho de 30 anos, estão na terceira década para tentar mudar e eles estão conseguindo, como ele mostrou naquele survey, certo? que ele mostrou que assim eles fazem a coleta de impressões do, da voz dos estudantes sobre como está modificando o pensamento matemático dos alunos. Então, isso é uma evidência de que a Lesson Study é um projeto de longo prazo, como também o professor Ui Roca falou na, na apresentação dele, que não é, existe alguns uh, problemas de fazer somente pelo lado administrativo, de cima para baixo, porque é um processo que precisa do envolvimento da escola, dos professores e de toda a estrutura. E a exposição da professora T mostrou claramente a importância. Ela é pesquisadora do Rexon, mas ela está acompanhando e fazendo as, os ciclos de lesson study nas escolas. 
e, e os professores. Então, eles fazem a educação, o desenvolvimento profissional dos professores, juntamente com, dando a importância à aquele preparação que eu que usei, que eu que, ó, ênfase, que o professor Takahashi também coloca como modelo de aquele CLR, Collective Learning Research, Aquele lá é uma coisa muito importante para colocar em ação os princípios da lesson study. E a Adriana, the next question, I think that it's the, the, the next question is uh, from the Adriana Richit. Uh, one general question for uh, the, the panelists. What are the main uh, progress for the professional development of Uh, teachers of uh, basic education in your countries, and if there is, there are experiences being realized in the uh, university level, third level, well, uh, such as calculus, algebra, etc., in your country, because we have focused on the basic education. Do you want me to answer from, from my part? Yeah. Yes, from the Thailand, please. Okay. Yes, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, the, the advance of, of the professional development in Thailand, uh, usually the professional development in basic education, meaning they attend a shortcut training outside the school but the most advanced after we introduce lesson study and open approach in thailand they forms a basic unit of professional learning community at that school uh, i mean the each lesson study team for for examples the grade one two three four five six and we have three teams in 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 the school and uh, we have multi layer of professional learning community from this foundation by the end of the week they also have another professional learning community and more wider or larger by the end of semester we encourage them to open class or public lesson and inviting the school nearby to attend the open class they have another layer of professional learning community and then by Annually, we organize national open class at my university. So like this year, by mid-March, uh, we gathering around 1,000 of, of the school teachers to attend another layers of professional learning community. So you see that we have many, many layers of, of professional development focused on forming the professional learning community. In regarding to higher education, And since 2004, uh, at my university, we changed the teacher education program from four year to five year. And in the fifth year, our student teacher had to do the practice the whole one year at the school. So we train our student teacher from the first year in the, uh, a number of courses, uh, for example, like the problem solving and some other mathematical learning courses. Uh, except from the S1 Mathematics at the Faculty of Science. So uh, our, our uh, faculty member also formed a team with our graduate student. Uh, when, when we teach our uh, student teacher or prospective teacher, and then we use this innovation to bridge the gap between the uh, pre-service teacher system and the in-service teachers. So when they are in the fifth year, we send them to the, our uh, project school so that the in-service teacher work closely with our student teacher. And uh, we also, as a knowledgeable outside, uh, as a teacher, math, math, math teacher educator, come to visit at the school every semester. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Então, da Tailândia, o professor Maitre falou que um dos maiores avanços no desenvolvimento profissional é a, 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 de, de criar várias comunidades, níveis de, de comunidades de aprendizagem. 
Então, quando a gente está trabalhando dentro da escola, é da escola. Mas no final da, do, da semana, essas várias escolas se juntam para criar outra comunidade, num outro nível, para poder trocar as experiências. E depois, essas experiências, no, nos reuniões mensais, juntando outras pessoas de um outro nível, juntando outros profissionais. E assim, anualmente, eles, eles conseguem uh, juntar as pequenas comunidades, eles conseguiram multiplicar comunidades de aprendizagem usando o Lesson Study em cada escola, começando com um time, dois times, três times numa escola, mas depois juntando da escola com outra escola, e da escola para as, para as, as secretarias regionais e tudo mais, e agora eles conseguem fazer uma reunião anual juntando mais de mil professores do país inteiro para fazer um research lesson, essas coisas assim, em, em larga escala. Então, essa mudança de cultura, de levar da escola para a comunidade total, começou como uma formiguinha mesmo, e isso mudou completamente o nível dos avanços do, do desenvolvimento profissional. E no nível de universitário, eles conseguiram mudar o currículo da universidade, do curso de matemática, por exemplo, de quatro para cinco anos. Em quatro anos, faz o curso, mas no quinto ano, eles aprendem, eles começam a trabalhar juntando o lesson study, juntamente com os ensinamentos, com o conhecimento de conteúdo dos cursos universitários de, de formação. E depois eles atuam, e nesse quinto ano eles aprendem outras metodologias e já começa a trabalhar em conexão com os grupos de aprendizagem. Assim, eles estão conseguindo trazer também o nível universitário para o nível da educação básica. É isso que eles queriam falar. O Roco, Dr. T, me, uh, you can talk about this progress uh, in Malaysia? I think from what we know is for lesson study the uh, most amount of improvement or the impact is when the knowledgeable other in this case most of the time they are the researchers when they come into contact with the teachers and they learn together that is the time when the impact is the most uh, because Very many of the teachers they do not really have time. Time is a big major constraint in the school. Yes. So if you leave them on their own, it becomes more difficult for them to organize that group. But when the researchers come in together with the teachers, that is the time where the impact is the most. In fact, the school administrators the headmasters and the headmistress most of the time they are very thankful uh, that this research is going on and they often ask can you continue to be with the school but this will be one of the greater challenges that we will face how to build a team of knowledgeable others to carry on uh, teachers i think uh, have um, sometimes they have very little time to think about uh, pedagogical content knowledge. Okay, they, okay. They don't have time because the whole day is packed with teaching. So it's very difficult for them to think so much, but uh, it is then necessary to work together with the researchers in order to, for the researchers, I think the researchers will also improve themselves. They will, there's an impact on the researchers as well as there's an impact on the teachers. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Dr. T? Uh, as, uh, as Dr. Chia elaborated earlier, that our system is very top-down kind of system. So sometimes there is no policy of such that uh, lesson study need to be done and then it will become very quiet. And typically, the lesson study started off in Penang, in this region. However, uh, it remains quiet currently. There are not so many teachers are doing it. It all, become, it all depends on, you know, whether there's somebody initiated it. But currently, probably due to the 
the influence of the wars last year in Kuala Lumpur, and you find that there are more lesson study group that is happening somewhere in Kuala Lumpur. So over our side, we as a trainer, what we can do is in order to enhance the professional development of teachers, as I was also serving in Simerexum, we just get some uh, very knowledgeable, knowledgeable people in lesson study to come in to conduct workshops. And then we have collaboration with the state education department to invite the teachers to come in and uh, guide them on what is lesson study and how to do lesson study. And for example, we're very lucky that we get a professor Takahashi to come in once to talk about CLR model and when people get excited about it but how far it will implement depends very much on uh, the initiative for the teachers or there's somebody who start off with the lesson study so thank you very much thank yeah. you very much bom uh, eles falaram bastante então eu vou resumir uh, uh, a coisa mais importante que o uh, Ui Hock Chair, a professora Ui Hock, e a professora T são ambas da Malásia, certo? E uh, uma coisa muito importante que o professor Ui Hock falou, o impacto né, do desenvolvimento profissional dos professores é a presença desse contato com o knowledgeable order, ou seja, um, um especialista, um expert fora do ambiente da escola que pode trazer uh, visões diferenciadas visões mais aprofundadas sobre o conteúdo da matemática, da metodologia, como um dos observadores para melhorar, para dar qualidade ao estudo do, do lesson study, do, do todo o processo. Mas, por outro lado, essa presença do knowledgeable order, do, do, do papel dele no ciclo de lesson study, deu esse avanço para a percepção da lesson study. Por outro lado, esse daí também é um desafio, porque como trazer esses, a, a presença desses knowledgeable others para a, o, os times? Porque a professora T também falou que é isso é uma coisa que o knowledgeable order depende também de outro tipo de organização fora da escola. Não é uma coisa que a própria escola pode fazer por si, que como trazer esse contato de knowledgeable order. Então, quando o professor Takahashi veio para mostrar a, a, como construir a comunidade de aprendizagem, né? a pesquisa por meio da comunidade de, de aprendizagem, todas ficaram encantadas com o papel importante que o Knowledge of Order pode exercer. Mas como trazer isso? Isso depende também da organização, como sendo do Rexham, de cima para baixo. Então, esse é um dos desafios que todos os países estão enfrentando. Resumidamente, é isso. Vamos continuar. Ah, existe uma, mais uma pergunta muito importante, que talvez seja a última coisa, que eu não vou falar mais de outras questões sobre ensino superior, porque nós estamos falando mais da, do ensino superior, mais em conexão com o ensino básico. Mas uma pergunta muito importante que foi feita aqui, que what are the strategies used by you to get the support from the Ministry of Education or other organizations for to enhance the power of lesson study? In the case of Orexon, I, I know it's the same organization, but uh, each country, how it, does it work to get to the ministry? I know that the Dr. Maitri is a, now is the consultant of the Ministry of Education, but because of your competency, but I see, I'd like to know the strategy to get to convince the Ministry of Education to invest and support lesson study in each country, please. Uh, yes, thanks for the question. Uh, from my experience, because I, I plan the long-term project, as I mentioned in my talk, uh, during the first three years, we approached the Division of Education Innovation of Ministry of Education, and then they support some small plans for our first trials for the four, four school during 2006 and 2008. Then later, another five years during 2009, 2013, 
the uh, Office of Commission of Higher Education uh, supports the the budgets to extend from the first pi four pioneer school to another uh, 22 school in the northeastern part and north part of Thailand. After the they confirmed that we have uh, a, a, a innovation for for this approach. Uh, I uh, submit the proposal. I, I mean, my university submit the big project to the national below of budgets for my country during 2014 to 2019s. And uh, they plan us uh, about like two million dollars every year during this six year, so we can extend uh, to the uh, the every provinces in in the northeast part. And uh, during this time, we can influence the to the the teacher councils of Thailand and also Ministry of Education. They see some uh, impacts of. They have seen this 2006 and 2019. And during 2020 to until now, the, educa the equitable education funds in my country plans uh, my university for four years to extend to the some uh, specific school. I mean, the, the, the small school in Thailand. In our case, we have more than 50% of the the whole school uh, the, the school in this country we have like thirty thousand school but most small school uh, uh 10 to 15 teachers uh uh the 120 students in each school so uh, we we introduce because another question how would we encourage them to to practice lesson study at the school i use the whole school approach uh, so we, we drive the whole school approach because we have a small school. So as I mentioned, the school principal have to take readership. We, we don't uh, support only one or two teachers to do lessons study in, in the school. But we, we, uh, like we do MOU with each school that we, we plan a long-term project, like uh, one loop, three years, two loop, six years, uh, like this. Pessoal, o professor Maitri falou que quando ele começou em 2006 para 2008, eles começaram com quatro escolas. E depois, uh, e pedindo ajuda para um determinado órgão de financiamento do governo. Aí, para quatro escolas. Depois, com uh, aumentou para 23 escolas e conseguiu mais de alguns órgãos de financiamento do Ministério, antes de chegar no Ministério da Educação, mostrando todo esse, esse sucesso, né? todo esse, esse programa que ia continuando. Aí, ele foi, ele, a universidade dele fez um grande projeto para apoiar mais escolas. E essa estrutura de começar a fazer aqueles pro, pro, programas de semanal, mensal, uh, anual, para aumentar as camadas de agentes que participam de, em cada camada, fez com que o Ministério da Educação aprovasse um orçamento para incorporar mais escolas. E uh, a estratégia que ele fala é que nunca começar com um professor montando um time dentro da escola mas começar pela escola como um todo, nem que seja uma classe numa escola, tem que ter o diretor, o coordenador, a administração da escola participando, porque tem que ser projeto da escola. A Lesson Study não é projeto de um professor, então eles jamais apoiaram a Lesson Study de uma classe de um professor. E é assim que eles conseguiram, e recentemente eles conseguiram, ou conseguir de outros órgãos de financiamento do do dos órgãos ministeriais do país, mais projetos para fazer os, os encontros anuais e tudo mais. Então, é um processo realmente de longo termo. Uh, we Hock and the Tech, could you please say something about the Malaysia, especially for the ministry, how to get support from the Ministry of Education of your country? Uh, I, I think... Go ahead, please. <laughs> I think, um, like in many countries and many places, um, the people in charge of the administration are not 
necessarily uh, mathematics educators. So they, they, they want to see the impact on something and also the trends in mathematics education. Often there are slight changes, not always focusing on lesson study. For example, the trend today now will be on coding and computational thinking. So uh, when you want to ask for support, so the, the title or the emphasis of the project should change according to the time. But of course, we can all, always fit in lesson study as a methodology to carry out the projects. Because at the end of the day, uh, lesson study enables us to work with the teachers and together enter the classroom and see how the practice of instruction can take place in the classroom. So lesson study is in that sense a, a very impactful on the teachers, no matter what trends and what new changes are there in the curriculum. Thank you. Thank you very much, Uyrok. Uh, Dr. Te, to add something yeah. about... Okay, let me add something. Actually, since the... Uh, Ministry of Education introduced uh, lesson study through SI, uh, through PLC in 2011. They have empowered uh, different state education department to do the lesson study because uh, every state department uh, is subdivided into the district level. So in the district level, they actually have get a lot of uh, SISC, that is a school improvement specialist coach. And all these people are supposed to help teachers of various subjects uh, to improve the teaching. And also uh, this group of the coach are supposed to help out the teachers. So I would think that it depends on the initiative of the SISC. And if they see the importance of lesson study, and if there is a wave of lesson study research again, then probably they will come in. Otherwise, they may just do a very general kind of coaching to the school. Thank you very much, Te. Ai, gente, a resposta foi muito boa. Que o Roca disse que uh, para conseguir chegar ao Ministério da Educação, não foi somente educação matemática. Ele veio para dar um impacto para o desenvolvimento educacional do, como um todo. Então, a lesson study seria, em última instância, a, realmente a metodologia para alcançar esse desenvolvimento educacional. Então, por exemplo, para desenvolvimento de, uh, de pensamento computacional, de outras habilidades sobre a ciência e tecnologia, e obviamente que necessita de matemática, então a educação matemática e o ensino da matemática era o centro, mas ah, falando um discurso de educação como um todo, para melhorar a educação e as escolas como um todo, conseguiu apoios de outras divisões da, do, do setor educacional, do Ministério da Educação como um todo. E a professora T reforçou que realmente, quando você fala de, de fazer a lesson study é, é no nível da escola, no nível do, do distrito, de nível regional, você precisa de um, eles procuraram também apoio de treinador, sabe, do a mentoria, um tutor educacional de administração de gestão. Então, com isso, a lesson study era o centro, era uma metodologia para conseguir ó, envolver a escola, dar o suporte para a administração de diretores e, e, e coordenadores pedagógicos para poder fazer a lesson study e as aulas de, de matemática, mas envolvendo a escola como um todo. Então, projeto escolar. Eu acho que esse é um ponto político muito importante que nós estamos ganhando com as experiências desses países da, da, do Sudeste Asiático. I think that the, our conversation is very, very profitable, effective. I'm very happy to, to be here, but I think that the time is getting over. So I'd like to thank you all and ask Professor Isoda to say the final words to, to close the, our session. Thank you very much, you all. 
Now, thank you very much, Yuriko. I learned a lot. Thank you very much, Dr. Maitri in Placita. And uh, thank you very much, Dr. Uihok Che. And uh, thank you very much, Professor Te Kim Hong. Actually, I learned a lot for the initiation of the lesson study in the country level. And there are many, many challenges I learned. And there are many, many strategies and so on. And I just want to confirm what is a good teacher. The teacher make an effort for children or student a good teacher. And the teachers usually enjoy the lesson study. If they enjoy, how enjoy? Self, it is self-realization. If a teacher want to develop student, and of, of course, government official, they want to improve or develop good student, they make an effort. Lesson study develop the community for learning together on this mindset. Thank you very much for today from Southeast Asia. So we yeah. are closing okay. the session and inviting yes, yes. all to continue the program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We hope so.